Europe has an ambitious plan to fight global warming, cut CO2 emissions at least 20% by 2020. A centerpiece of that effort is the clean development mechanism, selling carbon permits that help finance CO2 reducing projects around the world. But is it really working? That's what this hearing is all about. The clean development mechanism aims to establish a global price and market for carbon, an important step toward controlling carbon emissions. But at this hearing, headed by EPP group member Theodoros Skilakakis, critics say the system is unfair, specifically that Europeans, through their carbon credits, are overpaying for projects in the developing world to burn off greenhouse gas emissions. We pay 70 times more than it costs the Chinese and the Indians to destroy this industrial gas. And 70 times more is too much money, so we have to fix it. What's more, the end effect is undermining the effort to cut CO2 emissions, while adding costs for European power producers that buy those carbon credits and pass on those costs to consumers in higher electricity bills. Because this system doesn't work, the CDM in industrial gases, we have actually greenhouse gases from this sector uh, raising in the last uh, few years, while we are paying billions for that not to happen. So we need to fix it and we need to fix it fast. The abatement cost, the, 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 the destruction cost of these gas are quite low. And they low cost occur in China. We in Europe have to pay a very high price to get these credits and that we have to fix. That's why the European Commission has proposed acting unilaterally and is seeking Parliament's support to block carbon funds being spent on certain greenhouse gas abatement projects. These HFC 23 projects, they will not sort of be eligible under the CDM system. When you can just throw to the consumers the additional price, do we then get anything in return? Do, do that make any difference for the climate? Or is it just some business people having a good profit and some others paying the price? The EPP group, the largest political force in the European Parliament, aims to make the clean development mechanism a more powerful force in fighting global warming. But admittedly, the road won't be easy. We are talking about the international UN level, and so it's pretty difficult as Europe is just one of the players. But nevertheless, I think we have put it on the table, we count on the member states. It may seem like a long way off, but the 2020 target date to slash CO2 emissions 20% is just around the corner when it comes to shifting an entire European economy away from carbon. So the clock is ticking, and this hearing aims to underline the urgency. For more information about our group's activities on this and other issues, please have a look at our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.